All right, welcome back to another video by the Canadian Home Painter. In today's video, I just want to go over a very important step. Um, so this is just a, a pine baseboard. Um, it wasn't painted before. So what I've done is I put a coat of primer on, uh, but now I am going to spot prime these knots. So there's there's knots throughout this pine. Some don't have as many as others um, pieces, but they do have a lot of knots. Now, you do need to use a, a good stain blocking primer. Um, for this, I'm gonna use the bin, the Zinzer bin shellac primer. Um, you just, you wanna make sure that it's stirred up. I stirred it up before I started videoing. Um, I'm just gonna use just a little brush um, the trick with this stuff is because you can see it's it's very watery, well not watery, but liquidy. Um, so you want to be careful. Um, this is very strong primer. You don't want to get it on anything. You want to make sure that you have your carpet covered. And really, you just want to get a bit on your brush. Not much at all. And then all you're doing is going over all the knots you're not using too much now if you were to um, if you were to just leave those and you went and painted over your baseboard with a nice white paint um, over time and not a lot of time these would start to bleed through you'd start to see some discoloration around where the knots are. If you've ever seen that in trim, um, in someone's house or in your own house, um, yellowing spots all over your, your trim, uh, it, then it means that a stain blocker was not put on the, the knots. Uh, so that's just something you, you have to do, um, or else it'll just continually bleed through and it won't, it won't look good at all. So, um, the bin zinzer product uh it's it's really really good and uh these won't bleed through i can paint over they'll be they'll be great so thanks for watching hopefully this you found this helpful and make sure to like share and subscribe i appreciate it thanks